everyone. Uh, today we're going to go over how to update your icons and your splash screens in Ionic. So what we are going to start with is the ToDo app. Uh, I've created one already. It's called ToDo App Ionic. You can see it in my emulator. Um, so I'll show you what we're starting with here. Uh, if we run it, we're going to see the standard logo and the standard splash screen. Uh, now we are going to update those to something that's a little more uh, UIT related. Um, so just to before we begin, uh, the page that we'll be working with, uh, any of the material can be found at ionicframework.com slash docs slash CLI slash icon dash splash screen dot HTML. Uh, it's the icon and splash screen image generation page. Uh, I'll also provide a link to that on the uh, project page for UIT. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, before we began, uh, I created a couple of images already. Uh, so they are called icon.png and splash.png. Now the icon.png is a 192 by 192 image, and you can see it's just a UIT logo with a green background. Uh, and the splash image is actually, so the image itself is 1200 by 1200 pixels, and the surrounding area with the green background is 2208 by 2208 pixels. Uh, these are the recommended sizes for these, so that's what I would suggest you guys use when uh, attempting to make your own splash screens and icons. Okay, so to get started, uh, we'll open up the project page. So this is the root of the To Do App Ionic project. Now, in order to uh, generate the icons and splash images for uh, each applicable version of the iPhone, uh, the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create a new folder. Uh, and that folder is going to be called resources. And within that resources, uh, we are going to copy the icon and splash image, and we are going to paste them in here. Okay, so there they are. Uh, now that we know they're in there, uh, what we're going to do is go to the command line and go to our to do app Ionic project. So that's on my desktop. And now, once we're here, uh, all we have to do to generate the images is at the root of the project, type ionic resources dash dash icon. Now, this is going to generate some cached images because I did this earlier, uh, but uh, the first time you run it through, it's going to take a little longer because it's actually going to generate all of these different images for each applicable version of iPhone and iPad. Uh, and also, so to do the same with the splash screen, it is also it's ionic resources dash dash splash. And that'll do the same. Uh, likewise, you'll pr have to generate the images, which may take a little longer. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to build the project again because these images actually won't... Uh, take to the project itself unless you build it again. So sudo ionic build iOS, enter my password. And that will run. And once that completes running, uh, what we'll do is we'll minimize the screen and we'll minimize the finder window and bring back up our emulator. And we are going to rerun this project, and we should see our new custom image and our custom splash screen. Sorry, our custom icon. And there it is. You can see the change there to the UIT startup immersion icon. And it goes to the uh, regular project there. So if we go back home on that, you can see the, uh, the icon has actually changed. So it's fairly simple and straightforward to do. Um, like I mentioned, I'll, I'll post the links to these references in the UIT project page as well. <laughs> and good luck.